champion. Suffered at the feet and indeed suffered defeat to Bradley Sendon in Manchester. And I wonder if the British fighter has shared any of his tactical game plans. The teammate and friend Christian McNeish, because it's a tall order against this man. Nine Grand Prix gold medals. Can he make it ten? smile there as the floor manager almost hits the deck but can he do the same with Ede Hood and crack home a few big points very intelligent fighter great timing and very much a man for the big occasion likewise Steve Jennings there Great Britain team coach presiding over the development of course of the elite British team and the enormous success they have had over the years Christian McNeish ranked number 13 in the world. Idi Hoon still ranked number one. Five years the senior is the Korean. Well, the last time Idi Hoon faced off against a British fighter, he was defeated. Bradley Sinder, of course, found the answer that few had managed for many, many years. Christian McNeese showing some confidence, trying to flick one up to the face there. Ede Hoon holding the centre. Nice little lean back, back leg there. From the British fighter, Red. Well, audible coaching instructions here. Find the body first, be aggressive on the defence. The wise words of Steve Jennings, they flick to the face there, also oh close, McNeish gaining confidence, but not any points at the moment. Good power though. And Ede Hoon eats one to the face again. Christian McNeish smells blood here early. Well, the man that came through the Peacock gym, Canning Town way back in London. Couldn't have asked for a better start. Halfway through the first, four to the good. Hey, ball off that. Off that. Good, good, good. Nice little counter, Ede Hood. Oh, front leg to the face, just missing there from the Korean and blue. You can hear their feet scuttling across the mat. Not too much footwork so far from McNeish, just happy to. Working that front leg. He controlled the distance expertly. Half a minute to go. Engrossing first round. Swing and a miss, followed up by a headshot over the shoulder there from McNeish. Excellent stuff. Change of stance. A bit of hesitation from Ede who eats another head kick. Caught in the headlights and indeed caught in the face. Well, have Team GB found an answer to crack the puzzle that few could for many years as Ede who hits the deck. As McNeish hitting the heights here, 10 points of a difference. Well, don't adjust your screens, folks. At the end of the first round, Ede Hood against Christian McNeish. It's this man here. Looking really, really good value for it. Winning that President's Cup in the Oceana District, of course, most recently. So he's on for. Very much underrated in terms of his intelligence, his game IQ. He's been the master so far. Early days, though. Could ask for a better start. And by way of contrast, Ide Hood reeling and rocking. And it's the concentration that he's been caught with that cut chop twice. Time for focus. Great Britain's Christian McNeish. Excellent first round. 
Jimmy, who go through the gears. Stephen Jennings. Obviously designing the game plan. Oh, Tanjo. Along with Christian McNeish. It's worked so far. Good back leg turn the kick though from the Korean in blue. Three time world champion. He's another head kick on the inside. Plus the push to the body. McNeish marching forward. Back kick round the corner. Lovely punch on the inside as well. And the Brit undoes his good work there. Steps off the mat. But talk about good work. 15 points of a difference. Few have done that. Well, my mathematics has to adjust as it's cut down there. 19 6. Hey! Aggressive with defence. Hey. Holding the centre. Holding the attention so far. The three time world champion in trouble. Nice little step round the corner from McNeish. Too passive. Good back kick. Hey up. Too passive, wake up. Oh, I'm Joe. You could hear there Steve Jenny saying, too passive, wake up. Don't think it's one and done. There's a lovely back kick round the corner. Much to the delight of the crowd and indeed the British team. Lee has he still got the fitness? Less than a minute to go. You can listen in, let's... Ah! Oh, fitness required. Years of stamina in the bank for the man in blue. Can he generate more Gam Jones? Maybe the last chance for the Korean. 25 to 10. That's not the time, that's the score. And the scores on the board are just again in favour of the man in red. Oh, lovely advice from the coach. Don't survive, keep it going. Don't try and defend for a round and a half. Who feeling the pace, likewise, Christian McNeish could punch in the inside. Nice aggression, 30 to 12. Last 10 to go. Yep, no Gam Jones the call. That's halfway towards the danger zone. Five on the board. And Ide Hoon, when he goes back to his coaching corner, you get the feeling that that's probably what they're going to have to work for in this qualification. The reason for that, the excellent work of this man here, creative. Good timing. And he's on the cusp of a Grand Prix final. Of course, he made it to there in Moscow at the start of this Olympic cycle. Can he sustain the intensity? Big moments now. Passivity could be the problem. That's the warning from the British coach. But he sent a warning to this man in blue, Ide Hoon. Clapped him in the head regularly. And drew claps from the crowd for that big back kick. Well, it's been a day of upset so far. Panapa Hastogen, the top class tie fighter. Ronald Champ down and out in the under 57s. What will befall Ide Hoon in this one? In trouble, 30 to 13. The only, well, I say the only, apart from the, the danger of the feet and the kicks and the skills of the Korean, there are five Gam Johns hanging over the man in red. So Ide Hoon will have to work relentlessly. Good punch in the inside from the Brit in red. And that is the Gam John that the Koreans will be looking for. So this one a battle for territory as well as points, good punch, and that will stop, and indeed sap the stamina. And Stephen Jennings thinking there about the video replay card. Thinking better of it. Back kick round the corner this time from Ede Hood. Well, 30-15, score in tennis. It's been the British ace so far, serving it up in this one. Head shot from the Korean, gets pretty close. Close doesn't really get it done though. He's been advised to stay away from the edge. The Gam John will be given. Two Gam Johns away from disqualification. Ide Hoon 
is working for that. He's working away on the inside as well. But Nish. And the advice is to fight him. To hang on in there. Goes with a hook round the cor corner. Pulsating action here. The Breton Red avoids, keeps himself not only off the map but in the ring as well. The level of fitness. But there's going to be, I think, a video replay card. Uh, Jimmy, the former British coach, now going against, of course, one of our former athletes. 30 20 on the boards. The scores are getting closer. Jasla Gulievich in charge of the video re replay in this one. Well, eight would take it to nine, which would be real danger territory for the British fighter McNeish. relying on all of his experience. Wisely coaching the corner, wisely playing the card. So just having a look at the big screen, you can just about see there on the right hand side. Does Christian Bittany step out with both feet? Doesn't look like it from this vantage point. One foot remaining. Looks pretty conclusive from this angle. Of course, the judges will make their pronouncement. Key times, key stages, 30-20 on the board. Under 68 kilogram final in the offing. Well, the merest of margins, so important. The knowledgeable fans in the crowd well, they know what they think of it. No decision pending. Amelie Maraz says no, card is gone. Still 50 seconds for McNeish to battle and work. Goes on the attack. Good stuff from the British fighter, Ide Hoon. In a bit of trouble here. Good counter on the inside from the Korean. Can he mount a famous comeback? McNeish has summoned up the energy during that video replay. Well, meet him in the middle, the advice, good counter on the inside from Ide Hoon. It's been unanswered points from the Korean on the counter. Nice push from McNeish. Gives himself a little bit more breathing space. 32 to 24, the score's on the board. 20 seconds left in the third round. Then the 68 kilogram men's final. Of course, Ide Hoon, legendary fighter, was going for the chance to go for 10 gold medals at the Grand Prix. Christian McNeese avoids the headshot. Can he avoid the outer edges of the court? Slipping and sliding as Ide Hoon pops one on the board. 32 to 26. Gam John given this time to the Korean. Footwork so important now for the British fighter. Gets into the clinch. Has he clinched a spot in the final? Well, he has indeed. Christian McNeish getting it done in fine style. Ide Hoon absolutely exhausted. But the elation mixed with the exhaustion for this one. As I said, Ginny, of course, former British coach, passing on the congratulations. And passing on his respects there. McNeish, a pat on the back. Well, he's going to make the big step forward into the final he goes. What a performance. Combining with his coach there. Steve Jennings, I'm sure, will be absolutely delighted. Well done to both men. Likewise, well done to Ide Hood. A bronze medal this time for the legendary Korean. But as upset wins go, Bradley Sindon managed it. Christian McNeish has followed up and he's into the final. Well, he showed the creativity, he showed the intelligence, that back kick, not only scoring points, but knocking the wind out of the sails of the Korean, but sailing into that final he goes. Top class victory for him.